And this will be our first class in the new high-tech dissection lab that opened just a few months ago. Initially designed for massage therapists, over the years, graduates have included a variety of healthcare professionals, from acupuncture physicians who wanted to refine their needle placement and depth, to physical therapists, nutritionalists, personal trainers, and others that wanted to learn more about the human body. One third of the students in each dissection seminar are prior graduates of the program, and many have attended five to eight times. We begin with a tribute to honor the exquisite souls who bequeathed or donated their bodies to science. We hold the dedication to our silent teachers for the privilege of being their students and commit to embrace the valuable knowledge they will teach us and to apply that knowledge to the benefit of our patients and others. Next, we palpate bony landmarks and inspect for scars and, surger and surgical incisions. Even when we identify a surgical site, we do not know the nature of the surgery until we perform the dissection. As we dissect through the layers of the body, we uncover pacemakers, heart bypass, joint fusions, joint replacements, pleural adhesions, aneurysms, hernias, liver disease, and much more. Performing a dissection allows you to understand various surgical procedures your patients experience. For example, during coronary bypass surgery, the great saphenous vein is removed from the lower extremity, producing one long or two small scars on the medial thigh and leg. During a dissection seminar, you learn exactly what structure is removed, how deep it was embedded in the thigh and leg. You see how it was reattached and used for the coronary bypass surgery. You know exactly what tissues and systems of the body were affected during the operation and see how the tissues healed, giving you a greater clarity and many insights. During the seminar, you will see, touch, and compare tissues such as the bicep or a trapezius and multiple specimens of different body types and genders at the same time. Another interesting dimension of the dissection process is identifying anomalies or irregularities. Over the years, students have identified one specimen missing the upper trapezius on one side. Another had areas of muscle fiber missing in one leg that were filled with adipose. And a third had a levator scapula muscle with accessory rib attachments, just to name a few. The knowledge graduates gain and the refinements they make to their palpation during the dissection is immediate. Graduates say the experience transformed their treatment style and approach on many levels. A full body dissection is a rare educational opportunity that will fundamentally change your understanding of the human body. I hope you will join me, David Kent, for the 2012 Full Body Dissection Seminar being held July 25th through 29th in Tampa, Florida. You can learn more at my website, kenthealth.com. Space is limited and registration is accepted on a first come, first served basis. To register, please call 888-574-5600, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I look forward to seeing you in the Dissection Lab.